The U.S. economy is more dependent on reliable, affordable electricity than ever before. As the nation adds energy storage capabilities, our grid is under increasing strain due to increasing demand, extreme weather events, and outages. Using technology originated at Lawrence Livermore National Lab, Opcondis is a power electronics startup offering a crucial solution for power grid reliability. We're developing a new photonically controlled power electronic device for high voltage. Um, it relies on the photoconductive properties of silicon carbide, so uh, it switches much faster, which means it can be more energy efficient. It can handle much higher voltages than existing semiconductor devices. What we're building is a device that responds to the control of the laser. So it not only turns on and off, if you take the laser and change the intensity of the laser, it will change its resistance according to the laser light, thereby controlling the current flow through it. We're working out of our home mainly because taking on a business like this is a big risk. And we already had a lot of the material and equipment and infrastructure just in our garage. And so we thought, well, a good place to start is right here at home. The technology actually comes out of a program at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. They were looking at using silicon carbide for doing photoconductive switching, which is a very fast switching technology. My husband, Steve, realized as they started working with this material is that it responded differently than other photoconductive materials do, in that it responded proportionally to the light that was shown on it. And so they realized that this could be used as a power electronic device. So the laboratory licensed the technology and made it available for a company to develop commercially. And I had some business background. I decided, well, we'll form a company and we'll do it ourselves. Not very many people know where the word transistor comes from, but it comes from transconductance varistor. Well, we coined the word optical transconductance varistor, or OTV, to basically show that this was a device that could control power just like a transistor could. You can put a huge voltage across one of these devices by comparison, and the device responds immediately. There's no delay through the device, as you see with a standard high-voltage MOSFET. And what we have done here in Opcondis is bring it to the point that it becomes manufacturable and, and reproducible. The question was, how do you take something that's like the size of a room and get it down into a package? We found the perfect facility. We were just in the middle of getting it fixed up and ready to move into when COVID hit. It has taken much longer than we expected, and COVID has dragged that out even longer. We're probably just a few months from having all of the construction done that we need to, uh, to get done, and then we can fully move in and fully start to work out here. The really big area that we would like to see it adopted in is equipment for the electrical grid. And our device can switch at much higher voltages and be paralleled essentially to any current that needs to be handled. So we see better control of the grid that increases the grid's reliability and resiliency. If widely adopted on the energy grid, OTV could save 1 billion kilowatt hours of electricity and eliminate 750 tons of greenhouse gases each year. We have a technology, I'm convinced, that will revolutionize the power switching industry. There's nothing like it, there's nothing that comes close to it. 